My name is Mary Smith, and my son is Connor Smith, and he's a junior. We are based in Nashville, Tennessee, and Connor has been at Gal now for about a year and a half. I think we figured out it was the right place, I would say about a week into it, just with the reactions that we were getting from him. There was something about this goal, and I don't know that I really can put it into words, but there was something about the environment. I'm Jeffrey Felton Green, and my son is Devin. My name is Daphne Felton Green. I'm from the Washington, D.C. metro area. And our son, Devin, has been at Gao School for six weeks. The moment I've discovered that Gao was right for my son is uh, when we were visiting here and uh, one of the students just off the cuff just started talking to me and how are you doing? Just being very open and, and friendly. Meeting Mr. Rogers for me was the, uh, the sign that this was the right place for Jacob. He said to Jacob, we're gonna turn you into a man. Said you're gonna mature here and you're gonna learn from the older kids and there are role models here for you to follow. That was all I needed to hear. My name is Jared Fisher. I currently live in Scarsdale, New York. Uh, Jacob's first year at Gal. My name is Eleanor Daly. I'm Canadian, uh, but I've been teaching overseas for 20 plus years. I'm currently in Saudi Arabia where Helena was born. And uh, this is her first year at Gao as a full-time student, but she did four summer camps. My husband had found Gao online. The school said, what about a summer camp? And she had an amazing time, and our quiet, very introverted child was described by those here as outgoing and a real leader. We all liked Gao. We liked the structure, and we liked the community of teachers we met and the community of students. And not, none of us were really sure that we wanted a boarding experience for him. It felt just out of what our comfort zone had ever been and what we were familiar with. I think like any parent sending your child off to boarding school, there's just a lot of hesitancy. And it's really about the unknowns. The fear of the unknown and not knowing what was going to happen and how those things would all work out. And it seems to be kind of normal, like day-to-day -day things. But when they're not with you, um, they seem so much bigger. So being a plane ride away and not just being able to jump in the car if there was an issue, that was a little nerve wracking. But uh, you know, knowing this was the right place and we'd have to sacrifice some things for him to get the education that he needs and be around the people he needs to be around. Even though it's still, he still struggles, but he's, he's learning. You know? And I felt like you know, this is a great place for him to be. In the six weeks he's been here, I feel the school's done a really good job of keeping us um, informed. Um, they want to be there for you and they are here for you. 24-7, I mean, that's what they do. And any issue that he has, if there's any, he knows how to take care of it. He talks to the appropriate uh, teacher or, or the uh, dorm parent. You know, there's some little issue and, you know, he's able to kind of understand what the issue is and uh, resolve it on his own and problem solve on his own. Trust the process. Just your child will rise to the occasion and the structured aspect of it and the high expectations will be nothing but good for the child. You trust the school, you trust that you've raised your son the right way, your child, and that he'll pick those things up. And in the end, he has. He looks happier, he seems more confident, he looks a little more mature. And he's taken ownership of the school, so he's like, you know, um, this is my room, this is my dorm, this is my school. I feel that I'm home now, I can grow. We dropped him in off here in January. And by our first parents weekend in April, it was as if everything had changed. I mean, it was, he got back to the child that we knew. Despite our son saying how difficult the transition is and how challenging the work is, um, he said, I'm making good friends, I like my teachers, and I know why I'm here. 